Mm -hmm. For her to just be drifting through the world and not have any sort of idea of what's happening with this situation, but then offer an opinion yeah. that is completely uneducated right. and completely wrong and say that she hasn't watched the news in a couple of days <laughs> as if Kamala Harris could be black on Monday or white on Monday or Indian on Monday and then black on Thursday or Friday. It's weird. Julian, go. Ooh. Well, I hate to quote Laura Ingram, who told some brothers to shut up and dribble. But I will tell Janet Jackson, shut up and sing, girl. That you 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 okay at that. You ain't that good at that either. But you're okay at that. You can sing. But do not get yourself involved in politics because you don't know what the you know what you are talking about. And like you said, she lived in California. She knew this sister was black. She knew she was the attorney general. I just want to know who's paying her bills because that's what it boils down to. You show yourself up to be a total jackass. What is wrong with you? And why are you doing this now? And there are going to be some young people and some stupid people who are going to emulate you and you need to dial it back. You just need to dial it back. People have admired you for years. And again, listen, if you don't know, just say you don't know and keep it moving on the Congo. But to also make this comment get all this blow black blowback and then you ain't sat here and, and, and so your your manager issues an apology then y'all walk the apology back so y'all want the lie to still sit out there that's dumb and all y'all other people i see some of y'all fools talking about fba and all that and talking about oh janice the icon roland martin you shilling all y'all can kiss my entire ass Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have to talk about my favorite story of the week by far, okay? And I'm telling you guys, this story is not over yet and it will probably still be a story until Janet Jackson finally apologizes for claiming that, hey, I heard that Kamala Harris is not black, right? Basically saying, listen, I didn't know she was black, right? Which, you know, hey, apparently... This is a thing, okay, which is what I've been telling people the whole time. I mean, these pro-blacks want to pretend like it's not a thing, but they know it's a thing because they're currently boohoo wanting and crying, right, demanding, demanding that Janet Jackson come out here and to give an apology. But uh, Janet Jackson is not doing that. So now in the mainstream liberal media, they're doing what they always do. They're trying to look into who basically convinced Janet Jackson that Kamala Harris is not black as if it wasn't possible for her to come to this conclusion by doing her own research, right? I mean, if you do your own research, I'm not sure how you come to any other conclusion, right? But apparently, again, they are convinced that, hey, somebody is in Janet Jackson's ear, has brainwashed her into thinking that Kamala Harris is not black, right? And the person they have pointed out is no other than her brother, Randy Jackson, right? So now they are attacking Randy Jackson and said, look, he is behind Janet Jackson's delusion, right? And there are reasons why you have somebody like Randy Jackson being the culprit. It's because apparently Randy Jackson is a fan of Trump, right? And this is probably because Trump was for the Jackson family in one of their darkest moments. Take a look. That could mean life in prison, and cases like this can depend on the testimony of the child accuser. In general, uh, the child will be able to recall and recollect with some detail the incident, and that is persuasive to a jury, even if it is the only testimony that is available. Jackson gave a wave when he was released after booking. He's scheduled for arraignment in January. Michael's been a longtime resident of Trump Tower, and last night the Donald strongly reiterated his defense of Jackson with Larry King by going after the accuser's mother. She's had plenty of experience at going after people, and she goes after them viciously and violently, and I saw a story and I read another story about some of the things she's done, and I don't believe it. But you know what it's like when an indictment comes down. It's tough. It's presumption. He's t it's tough. It's tough to win. But I have a feeling he's going to win, Larry. The interesting thing is I've known Michael from many different standpoints, and Michael would spend a lot of time with my kids. I have beautiful kids, and at the time, like at Mar-a-Lago, 
and even in Trump Tower, the kids were very young. Michael would come, play with the kids. He just loved children. He was not a child molester, and I am certain of that. He loved children. He'd play with my son Eric and my son Donald, and he'd just play with them forever. He loved children, but he was not a child molester. And, you know, that whole final saga of Neverland and the police and what they did was, I think, a very, very, a very, very bad part of Michael's life. Yeah, so there are reasons for why the Jackson family seems to be uh, MAGA, right? They seem to be America first, right? Pro-Trump, right? So there, there are reasons for this. And this is what the media doesn't like. And the pro-blacks really, really, really do not like this because the black bourgeoisie has come out in full force to try to deprogram Jed Jackson, okay? They are absolutely losing their minds on their platforms over the fact that Janet Jackson has not apologized yet. In, in fact, she's actually went out of her way to basically show that she's probably not going to apologize. I don't know. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. But when somebody that was apparently supposed to be a part of her management uh, came out and issued an apology on her behalf, uh, she said, no, 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 um, I'm not apologizing and also fired the guy. Jackson's comments generated outrage online until a credited producer on her upcoming documentary walked it back before that person was seemingly fired, leaving it unclear whether Ms. Jackson still believes that Kamala Harris isn't black and really is willing to tell her billions of fans that there's no difference between Harris and Trump. It's a weird sequence of events, but Jackson is not alone. There's a host of celebrities who have made bizarre comments in actual support of Trump, who has long depended on endorsements from celebrities and manoverse influencers, mostly because reputable experts and political figures have largely abandoned him. Her fan base is massively black women. Um, black women all around the world are her core base. And if she is this subject to misinformation and disinformation, I feel like she actually does have the power to spread that disinformation and misinformation. And that winds up disempowering black yep. voters, black women voters exactly. in particular. What do you make of it? Well, look, we know that disinformation and misinformation spreads rampant in black communities. Right. And uh, again, this has pissed off a lot of the pro-blacks. Uh, because um, Janet Jackson is refusing to, to back down. Take a look. How is it now, three days later, and you, Janet Jackson, still haven't issued an apology for that stupid-ass comment you made? Now, let me be real clear, okay? I think Janet Jackson is a fantastic entertainer. Puts on a great show. Well, this was a dumb-ass comment. An asinine. And you got the reporter sitting there Telling you is not true, and you say nothing. So here you are, you haven't corrected it. So what you're telling us is you're perfectly fine with the lie being out there. So you said nothing, Randy has said nothing, and that's just dumb. First of all, how many biracial people are in the Jackson family? How many of her brothers have married non-black people? And you literally are questioning, oh, I heard her dad was white. What the hell are you reading, Janet? And who you hear it from? Not only that, this woman was the attorney general of California when you lived there. Did you walk past a TV set? I am so <clears throat> I am so through with a lot of these black entertainers really being stuck on stupid with some of the comments that they're making. It's just dumb. And, and then it's oh, oh then this is oh so it's going to cause are this going to uh, you know I don't first of all here's probably the most true I, honestly I don't want to answer that because I really truthfully don't know. But why your ass talking about it? Why didn't you give The Guardian the same answer you gave me on the Tom Jordan Morning Show Fantastic Voyage Cruise five years ago? Then folks wouldn't be lighting your ass up. Memo to all entertainers, especially black ones. If you don't know shit about politics, shut up. Please. Because you look like a damn fool.
<laughs> Yo, I love this story for so many different reasons. I got to tell you guys, I am absolutely loving it. I can watch these people melt down over this all day long because this is not going away. It's not going away. Okay, it's not going away. And the funny part about this, it really shows you what I've been trying to tell you guys about the so-called pro-blacks, right? Especially the ones on the left for the longest time, okay? They're not pro-black. They're pro-democrat, okay? They're pro-progressive, okay? And this story right here is a shining example of that, right? Because these people are literally dragging Janet Jackson through the mud, okay? Her family has been through a ton of stuff, okay? I mean, she just lost one of her brothers, just died, Clearly, she's grieving, right? And these people don't give a damn. They are going after her, pressuring her to apologize. Now, everybody is all up in her grill over her saying that an Indian woman is not black, right? Again, it's just, it, it really shows you where these people and their alliances are, right? Who do they pledge allegiance to, right? They don't pledge allegiance to black people or the so-called black cause, okay, or black advancement or whatever. They don't pledge allegiance to that. She, they pledge allegiance to the Democrats, right? They just disguise it as pro-blackness. But when it comes time, okay, to be pro-black, right, um, they're nowhere to be found, right? If Democrats don't agree with it, right? If it doesn't align with the Democrat agenda, and that's what you're seeing right now, because Janet Jackson... She's supposed to be a black icon, right? And instead of, at the very least, giving her room to grieve, right? And just be like, you know what? We're going to leave this alone. No, no, no. These people are more concerned about what she's saying and the potential impact that it's going to have on the Democrats, right? In the election, because she has millions of fans, millions of followers. And most importantly, her saying this, the only thing she's doing is that She's just echoing a conversation that all these black liberals know, right, that happens behind closed doors in black America about Kamala Harris and her identity. They even admit it on CNN. Take a look. I, I don't understand why people keep talking about this. I mean, it's a settled matter, is it not? But it's it not is a, settled, but it's, not, but it's, but it's, but it's, it's still not, out there. It's not Donald Trump's fault either. And so I have to push back on that framing because there are corners of my barbershop every mm -hmm. single day well, it's being said, yeah. that, that yes. question whether or not she's black yes. or I don't trust her because yes. she's not and black. And so let me take yes. a look. Yes. Yes. Donald Trump said right. something very on, ignorant about I mean, her race. I mean, I hear what you're saying. But the, Trump's elevation of this no, conversation. No, this is important. No, this is important. <laughs> but we, we, we were having this conversation about her ethnicity and what she is, wrongfully so, in the corners of black America for a long period of time. Now, we have to disabuse that notion and extinguish it. And yes, Trump does go to the darkest corners of whatever conversation may be and elevate it. And he was ignorant for doing so. And as former president of the United States, you should not do that. And I'm glad you push back on it. But I can't say that this is this conversation or Janet Jackson's conversation is because of Donald Trump, because I'm having these conversations, particularly with black men every day about yeah. whether or not Kamala Harris is Here's a fair black. point. My friend called me yesterday and she or a couple of days ago and she was with this is before this was even an issue before Janet Jackson was even an issue. She's with her 18 year old nephew who's a freshman in college. And he was like, I just read that she's not black. She's not black, is she? And I was like, get off the phone. What are you saying? <laughs> Wait, but there's it, a what, difference. It's a though, normal Gary. conversation that, that they're having. It is, it is a, it is a conversation that. that I'm Unfortunately, we have had and we've had for a long time as a people. Um, whenever we get into this conversation of trying to define who's black, it always leads to an ignorant place. Yeah. So I love how black liberals can recognize that when you have this silly conversation about race, okay, and trying to identify people uh, by their race or try to define their blackness, that it leads to an ignorant place, right? I just wish that they would apply this same logic and reasoning when it comes to questioning the blackness of black conservatives, right? Because as a black conservative, <laughs> I'm always having my race question and racial slurs hurled at me because of my political opinions, right? Because of my political opinions, I'm not really black, right? According to people like Joe Biden, okay, and black liberals, right? Although I am a fried chicken loving, chitlin eating, uh, fat back meat and collard green <laughs> loving, Negro, born and raised in the South, okay? So, again, it's just funny how that works, okay? People like me, because I'm conservative, oh, it's, it's, it's totally fine, it's totally okay to question my blackness, right? But somebody like Kamala Harris, 
who is half black, right, at the very most, okay, and there's not much evidence for that, she was raised as an Indian woman, okay, Indian household, Indian traditions, uh, probably Indian religion, okay, I mean, I, I don't even know what her religion is, right, I don't even know what she believes, but we know, at least culturally speaking, um, she is Indian, right, Indian, okay, but yet now, oh, it's a silly conversation to be had, right? It's a, it, it takes you to a dark place to question her blackness. Again, this is why I have no sympathy for Kamala Harris, okay? Or any of these black liberals losing their minds when it comes to this conversation because they invited this, right? They started this, okay? And this is why I try to tell people about how the pendulum always swings the other way in politics, right? You got to be careful the type of stuff that you support because it could come back to haunt you in the future. That's what's happening right now. This all started with black conservatives. Nobody has their blackness questioned as much as black conservatives, right? And because it was okay to do it to black conservatives, this became a thing. So now, now that it's affecting black liberals, black progressives, somebody like Kamala Harris, who by the way, again, is at the very least half Indian. Oh, now all of a sudden, oh, well, this is out of bounds. This takes us to a dark place. This is wrong, okay? Again, this is the first race conversation that the race hustlers don't want to have, right? Every race conversation, they are the first people to the table to have that conversation. But for whatever, this race conversation, they want to back away, right? They want to cry foul, and they don't want to have a conversation anymore. They don't want to talk about it. Why are we talking about this? Again, it's amazing. It's, it's absolutely amazing what these people are currently doing right now. And this is why I hope that... Janet Jackson continues to stand on business, right? She continues to stand 10 toes down, okay, on what she said. And I hope and pray that she does not issue an apology to the mob, right? There's no reason to, okay? You don't have to do it, but the pressure is going to be crazy for her to actually come out here and to issue some type of retraction and apology because she has influence and she's basically just saying what a lot of people in the black community actually really believe in the conversations that are happening and her coming out here and saying this is simply just confirmation of that something that again the media doesn't want to admit because if black people if the black community think that Kamala Harris is not actually black while she's claiming to be black then a lot of people are going to think that she's fake and if people think that she's fake she's inauthentic then that's going to hurt her in the polls right that's going to hurt her at the ballot box and that's what these people are afraid of, right? They're scared to death of black people thinking that Kamala Harris is fake, therefore deciding, hey, we don't want to vote for a fake person that's, you know, faking her identity or whatever. Again, th that's what they're really afraid of here. But all I know is this. All I, I just want to mention this because th this cannot be overstated. Rachel Dolezal is old an apology, right? This whole Kamala Harris saga, okay, and her identity, Rachel Dolezal is owed an apology, okay? Because this woman, if Kamala Harris can identify as black, Rachel Dolezal can identify as black, and I will stand on that. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.